You ready? You ready? Fight. Well, every time we walk into this here Madison Square Garden, I think I will always think about you in 2017. It was UFC 217 Championship Triple Header. It was the most insane night of fighting ever. Bisbee St. Pierre. Cody Garbrandt got knocked out by TJ Dillashaw. Then Rose Namajunas knocked out Joanna Jacek. And we absolutely went crazy. One of the greatest pictures of announcers in sports history. It was all three of us. We looked like that poster of monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It was crazy. What a phenomenal night in the great arena. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss. Finder Magomedov. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Great posture control by his opponent. Going orthodox now. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Magomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Now, he lands early and he lands off. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Chiefs. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Able to land with the left hand there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Beautiful right hook counter. Three minutes remain in the round. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Ooh, what a punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nurmagomedov's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. That's a good knee to the body. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Big kick lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up to him. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it, he's defended it before it's even gotten started. Got the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing them with that type of intensity. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. What a body kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. One takedown, Big punch land. Ooh. Back and forth we go. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Man, he is sniffing out these takedowns from a mile away. Stuffed another shot there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Just missing on the uppercut there. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Mount. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Daxton. Battling for hooks. Right hand punch the clinch. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Tie. Nice. 
what a tricky head kick. Round two next. Right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, next round is underway. He has proven throughout his career to be a hard guy to take down, and that is on full display yet again here tonight. He is just so confident in his takedown defense, and he never truly leaves himself exposed. When he's striking, he's always very aware that the level change can always come. When you do level change, he sprawls, takes his underhook, and he circles. Another reason he's so hard to take down is he never allows you to get him to the side of the octagon. Most of his fights take place Right to center. Right. Great defensive anticipation there in the previous round. We'll see if it continues here. Nice straight punch. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing with nasty, vicious elbows. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's... All right, so we're in there. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful body kick. Well placed knee to the body. Punch to the body is blocked. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at the damage inflicted by that elbow. Punch over the top. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Side control now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Ooh, what a punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. That shot blocked by Nermago Meta. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. He gets to his spot, the tie point. Then he starts to let the knees fly. That was a nice strike. Ramago met up. Oh, now going to the judo zone. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he goes round the ball or he can chase the mission. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he goes. Right hand punch the clinch. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body. 
takedown defense holds up. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab, the record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive rest. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight. Not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting, starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. This was gonna be a brawl, okay? We knew it was gonna be blood. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's gonna be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent in a great top position. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Can they separate? Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at the turtle in that kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Dig and kick. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. And they separate. Beautiful leg kick throw. What a right hand by this young man. Nice punch man over the top. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Muay Thai plump. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because this guy is going hurt very bad. really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh! What a fantastic strike. Shot a double leg. Oh, he will slam him down to the ground. Well done. We have just reached the midway point of the fight. Back to the feet now. Big kick. Well, he keeps going. Oh. He's got him hurt here. Oh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, a huge block there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. 
Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands a big ease from the close. Very, very explosive. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course. But you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Final seconds of round three. Throwing that jab, no good. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it, he landed that kick, and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Beautiful. This one's all you, man. Knock him down, you're gonna knock him down again. I want you to finish him this time. Okay, go out there. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good knock. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get you have fighters that are so good in the match. Nice head kick. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. Beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Nurmagomedov's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Now it's his mount. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's gonna tag armbar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, that's gonna do it in a quick tap from there as yeah, he gets he's it got done by the submission. Moment he got the arm straight. He got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent to tap and he wins the fight. He's done. He's done. Goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately forced the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here today. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 36 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission and 
they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result. 